Here comes On top. Uh, Jacob Bass, who we were talking about earlier. Uh, from Warsaw, up on that number one with his translator. With his interpreter, yep. Interpreter, sorry. Yep. That's awesome. She might be both a translator and an interpreter. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, if you guys get a chance, I would go out and Great article. read that article. And, and it's just got to be interesting. She's going to be running around the mat, you know, relaying the messages to Jacob from Coach. It's got to be such a disadvantage, so difficult to be able to get instructions from your coach when you can't even hear them. Mike, you uh, had a wrestler that was did. deaf. He was a stud, he Curtis was. Bush. Curtis Bush. Curtis yeah. Bush, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, from Harlem. He was a great football player as well, all state. Good shot there. Jacob Bass wrestling Caleb White from Frontier, 31-2. Jacob Bass is, uh, and they also said in that sport, relatively young to the game of wrestling. Yeah, she's she's got to have uh, she's got to have to practice herself the way she's yeah. on that mat. <laughs> she's giving Harper uh, a run for the energy yeah, award. It was close. It's got to be hard for a coach. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just even like. Trying to get him amped up and stuff, and he can't. Well, you know, having experienced that, I, I remember the interpreter that we had telling us one time, you know, don't hold anything back. Whatever oh, you would tell any other kid, I want you to tell this kid. <laughs> and we didn't. <laughs> he was really good. He was tough. And he was a large man. Yep. You ran into that Whiteland kid that one year on Friday night that ended up, I think, winning it. Jared or, Freyer. Yeah, kind of a bad draw. He was, yeah, he was good like, enough to be top eight. Jared Freyer, what was it, like 6'7", too? Yeah. Lad drop in the finals, yep. right? He was yep. good. He was really good. We're going to have a good one here on mat number three. Jacob Maldonado and Sean yeah, Hollis. It yep. It's been, it's been a lot of back and forth here, too, a lot of upper body stuff. It definitely seems that there was a large crowd of people that uh, read that article. When he went to his back there, a lot of people got Heard that. Yeah. Nice cheers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, if he gets the win, he'll probably run into Burford. Yeah, I guess when people say, you know, it took a lot to get here, they, uh, <laughs> yeah. For Jacob Baz, it really took a lot. Yeah. yeah. A, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, if good read, fortune. Yeah. It's a misfortune and some good fortune they, also. If you read that story, they literally said he was, they don't, they traded like fishing net for yeah. him. Yeah, for the, his. To get his, yeah. into that old yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you assume that like money, the money is irrelevant yeah. to the people that had him as a slave. Yeah, unbelievable. So two to one, Sean Hollis after one. Four seconds left for Joe Sean Lewis over there on mat number three over Kay Johnson. Two wrestlers here. There's Hollis on uh, a deep shot. He's extended though. Yeah, Maldonado and with the takedown. Get it, yeah. And we noted that last week, Maldonado and uh, Watts is just a grinder. He's gonna come at you for six minutes. Pin for Burford. I wasn't looking. Was it a cradle? Twenty-one seconds. It was a cradle. <laughs> yeah, looked away for a second and missed it. Bass looking to get the fall on one. He gets the fall. Nice cheer. Yeah. A lot of well people. deserved. We got Jordan Douglas, returning semi-state runner-up last year. 